Hey everybody, welcome back. I can't believe it. We're here playing Super Auto Pets. I can believe it. I was just, I started the video, I didn't know what to say, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So, so that's what I said. Let's be, um, how about like a subtle joker? That's, a, that's an on-screen portrayal we haven't really had yet, huh? A subtle joker? Like maybe a joker played by like, um, like a Michael Fassbender type, I'm sorry, not Michael Fassbender, Michael Stuhlbarg. Michael Fassbender, he's been in a lot of great stuff. I don't know if I would describe his acting as subtle, but maybe that's only because I've seen him predominantly as an android in the Ridley Scott, they're not alien, just kidding movies, and also uh, Magneto in X-Men. So, you know what? Those kind of call for unsubtle acting, for sure. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna insult the man. Seems like he's out there living his best life. Getting X-Men royalty checks, married to Alicia Vikander. I don't know what to do with you, okay? I just don't, I simply don't know what to do with you. I'm thinking like Wasp Turtle is close to a guaranteed like two for one, hopefully. So what if, what if you went, sell the duck, and we're going like kind of all in, which is a little scary. You sell the duck to buff the wasp's HP. You buy the wasp. You buy an apple. You sell the mouse to get the apple to buff the wasp. Give me a flamingo just because we know we're going to need a unit. And then it probably pays dividends to get that next uh, wasp out there. They get the croissant on the wasp as soon as possible. And then maybe a level two flamingo, even though we know that there's no chance we'll ever be able to kill it and get the, the stats out of it. But... We're really trying to kill time until a turtle shows up, and then and then maybe we got something going on, is, is how I'm choosing to think about this right now. This is not what we're looking for, but I'll, I'll just give you a little extra juice, because what you're... Every time the shop tier upgrades, you gain 50%. So you're gonna be like a 10-7 next turn. That's unfortunate. <laughs> is that fair, 10-7? 10-7 is pretty good. But obviously, considering we're building the whole squad around it, we need, like, a little more. I almost want to, like, dub Salad and just hope it hits the, the Wasp. One of them hitting the Wasp, I can live with, okay? I'm going to set it up like this. Like, this is a really bad-looking team. But I, I do think that it's rare in the sense... Like, it's an unusual team in the sense that one freaking turtle could have this thing running like a, like with a hammer, you know? To guarantee that our wasp doesn't one for one would be incredible. So let's, let's start here because we want the stats before the shop tier upgrade, which is coming. And then I didn't like what we got at all. So let's go here because we're desperate and I hate that even more. <laughs> so, uh, it's one gold for a beaver, right? At this point. No, we get the duck instead. Brother, that is not what we're looking for. So we basically paid one gold for nothing there. Not interested. We need more. We need it needs to be better. And it, the ladybug is, is irrelevant at this stage of the game. It would be very nice to get a level three fish. The odds are not great um, before things become truly dire for us. But we're going we're gonna to try to... We're playing to our outs, you know, to put it in poker terms, which is dangerous because, I, to be honest, you don't really know anything about poker at all. Um, except I can fairly easily, and by easily I mean with an incredible amount of focus, do um, probabilities on the order of like 1 in 12. When sitting at a table, if necessary. And then be like, I fold, because I only play the cards, I don't play the people. You're probably listening to that going, he's sharking us. I promise you I'm not. I, uh, <laughs> I played in a... I, I was like a, a young adult, like a teenager to a young adult during the poker, like the Texas Hold'em boom when it originally happened. I got interested in poker. I bought Daniel Negranu's poker something for Xbox 360, played a bunch of it. Um, went to a poker tournament my first year of university. Got there and uh, I, here's my strategy. Look at my cards. They're bad, I fold. They're good, I'm in. Now, in, uh, 
strictly logical sense, this makes some sense, but what that means is that um, anytime you're playing against real human beings, or, you know, a sufficiently talented AI, I suppose, listen, we gotta try it, I'm so sorry to the, the squad, but we gotta give this a shot here. Um, maybe a bison would have gone off there, I don't know, I'm happy to, I, I gotta think about it. Uh, anytime they have been sitting at a table with you for, you know, an hour, and you've played two hands, they pretty much have you figured out. They're like, every time this guy goes in, if I don't have great cards, I fold. Otherwise, just push him out, and you bully him out of the hand at the freaking, uh, before the flop every single time. Listen, I was just not good at poker. I think I have to embrace the idea that this could work. But I do also need a turtle. And I don't know how we're going to do that. I guess we're going to get rid of a penguin, which I literally just bought. And then I'm going to buff you in a milky sense. And I'm going to send you up to the front so you can get more HP because you need the HP more than anybody. I think maybe I would be better at poker now because, um, I mean, listen, we don't need to get into the, the weeds on this. But... When I was younger, I think I had a, the idea that, like, oh, I could just win every hand. If I can't win this hand with my cards, then I fold. Now I realize, you know... Go ahead and take some health. And you know what? At this point, go ahead and take some of this. It, I recognize it now more as a game of probabilities, and you can, you know, make small bets that maybe are a little bit of a lark in order to throw your opponents off, and then the... Thank you for not killing me. The rest of the time, you know, if you play solidly, you have a chance. So listen, I don't know what I'm talking about. I guess I'm saying not every hand has to be a winner as long as you're focused on winning the table at the end. We don't really need a level 2 wasp, but it'd be nice to get a tier 6, I guess. Although, what am I going to do with it? I don't know. Bro, having two walruses on the squad seems kind of sick. There's a problem, though. I can't get rid of the fish. I would love to get a flamingo. You just simply need that. I would love to get rid of the... Uh, let me rephrase. I would love to get a Flamingo so that I could get to a... That, that would be a level 3 Flamingo, which would then allow me to sell a fish. I mean, we're done. I don't think this was the Wasp's fault, to be honest. I, I think maybe... And I, I'm not going to say it's not my fault, but we still got the six wins. I just feel like not getting a turtle in a in an appropriate time frame slowed us down a little in the mid game but it's it's not so bad i like the squad i like i like the squad well enough to buy and hope it hits a fish unfortunate and let's run everybody's running mods man but i'm i'm going to keep my squad like this i'll be an elden hedge from elden ring and by the elden ring better freaking cruise man elden ring better cruise at the game awards I am deliberately, I'm being nice, I'm not mocking God of War Ragnarok. All I'm saying, I, and this, okay, I am knocking God of War Ragnarok, but not because of it, if that makes sense. And it doesn't, I'm realizing, because people are giving me funny looks around the production office. So my, my PA is talking in my ear right now, don't insult it, they're a big sponsor. I will never be silenced unless they're sponsoring like uh, to a serious degree of my, how much? Okay. It's a two horse race, Elden Ring versus God of War Ragnarok at the Game Awards this year. But I saw a tweet that was like, uh, I, I'm trying to paraphrase it. I, and I, I wish I could remember who said it. So I apologize, but feel free to leave it below. It was basically like, I don't understand why they have all these puzzles in God of War. And, and try to resist the urge to just be like, oh, this guy doesn't like using his brain. Because that's not true. I like losing in chess 61% of the time. But it's like, you know you can just, and this is again paraphrasing the tweet, you know you can just have a game where the guy who's good at finding things just fights things a lot? Like that's why Elden Ring is so good, is that you're just walking around beautiful environments fighting nightmare creatures. And I'm like, that's, it, it's really starting to ring true. I'm, I'm glad I'm starting to hear it from other people. Because, like, when I played God of War 1, that's what I was like. I was like, why is, like, a third of the game this cool combat system and two-thirds of the game is you got to pick up a heavy crystal and then you carry the heavy crystal up to a pedestal and then that makes... Oh, Kratos can... At, at some points in the game, Kratos can jump uh, 100 feet into the air 
uh, as long as it's in a cutscene. But if he's in an environment and he needs to get to a switch that's six feet above him, he's lost the ability until he carries a, a crystal onto a pedestal which illuminates a ramp made of pure light that he can then walk up and get to. Like, it's not just immersion breaking. I'm just like, why am I doing this? This stuff is just breaking up the part of the game that I personally find the most fun. If you enjoy... I'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade, okay? If you enjoy those puzzling, light puzzling aspects of God of War, more power to you. Sincerely. For me, it's just too much game. Every time you do anything, you get 17 different resources. I got alluvium crystals. I got bronze. I've got uh, Talarian steel. I've got, like, it's just... I'm like, I don't know what you want from me, okay? I don't know what you want from me. Can't you just give me, like, gold? Can't you just give me, and gold gets exchanged for everything? No, you gotta have 25 different currencies. Oh, you wanna upgrade your axe of Yorgmunder to be a flail of the Thithu, but you can't do it because you don't have enough Talarian steel to do it. You gotta go into the caves of Mithril and get the Talarian steel. No, not the caves of Ithril. That's where you get uh, Hymeldian bronze. What is, why is there so much, man? Anyway, I'm just, um, like, it's okay. It's not, I'm not trying to, like, um, Say that you shouldn't like it. Hold on, just give me my stats. Just give me my stats. It's just for me, personally, it's just a little too much game, you know? Or maybe it's even at this point, like, there's there's so much in the game that it's actually too little game. I think that, uh, I mean, uh, saying it's too much game is not, I'm not trying to be overly rude, but it's it's not the point I'm trying to make. I spend more time mashing the A button to get prompts off of my screen while a little disembodied head hanging off my belt goes, Hey, Kratos, have you tried picking up the crystal and putting it on the pedestal? And I'm like, oh, sorry, sorry, disembodied head from the last game. I got a, there's a Valerian Steel, Valerian Steel, Talarian Bronze, Valerian, Heimdallian, it's just, it's, that's why we, we never should have progressed past Pong, man. We had it all figured out in 1971. Check this out. Garlic on your level one ants. Bet you never thought you'd see the day. Anyway, again, if you like the game, so does a lot of people. It's got like a 94 on Metacritic. It's going to be nominated for every game of the year. It's fine. I'm just trying to... I'm, I'm not having a dissenting opinion to be contrarian. I'm simply... I'm elucidating the points that I have with it. I, I, prefer, I prefer a game... And I'm going to put this in the most derogatory way possible so that you're less likely to be annoyed by me. I like a game that is simply simpler. I like, like Super Auto Pets is the perfect game. <laughs> it's, it's streamlined, it's simple gameplay mechanics. What I say, with, I, I'm tired of pretending that I'm being ironic when I say that SAP is one of my favorite games of all time. Sure. Are there are there any cutscenes where you learn what it truly means to be a father? No, but I'm doing like a pretty good job of like learning what that means in my real life because I have a child. So like I'm like I, I, it's not that I don't need all that stuff. And actually, I know we're going off. I said I wasn't going to talk about it. Now I'm talking about it. I actually people think the problem that I have with God of War is story based, and it's not story based. The story is actually really good. The problem is that the story also is wrapped up in all this, like this maximalist game design that means that you're getting like an emotional story beat and then before you can really take the time to digest it, they're like kill seven flying elves and then, uh, oh, use your ax to stop this spinning thing at a point where it exposes a crystal and then have... Uh, uh, Hella shoot an arrow at it, which opens a gate, and if you run under the gate in time, that you, anyway, you get the idea. The stories, I, I just don't like the delivery mechanism. Of uh, it's, you, know, you know what it really is? I can't believe I'm about to buy an apple. Don't do it, just roll. There's some good stuff right there. I think I was out of the AAA scene for so long. Like, I was just playing more indie stuff because that's what I was covering on YouTube, that now playing AAA games, it seems like so exhausting. I'm like, really? Like, can't, can't I just fight the boss? Why do I have to go through this like Protestant work ethic stuff where it's like, no, you can't fight the boss until you've suffered through drudgery first. Like, it just doesn't seem, it, it's, it, okay, now I'm going off, okay? But it just, I'm just trying to say, it seems like we could, we, you could, that's why Elden Ring is the great, it's just literally, huh. Demosthenes, angel of destruction. Then it's just like a little dude with a spear. But then you're like, oh, this guy's nothing. And then you 
kill him. And then like the actual angel comes out of his body and you're like, whoa. That's what it's all about. Anyway, I, I digress. <clears throat> we don't want a level 2 ant because it makes our dragonfly worse. I know it's extremely counterintuitive. That is not, though. That is... Mm, that's a yummy, yummy in my tummy. And I don't know what we're going to have because we're going to have one extra spot, but it'll be... Like, you know what? This will give us a tier 6. It would be very nice to get a good unit. <laughs> I don't know what it would be. But it would be sweet. And can I just say we're kind of cruising right now, man. We're on six wins, no losses. That feels good. Now, let me, let me take a look at you. You guys are all tier ones, so a poodle makes no sense. Fly actually seems kind of interesting. And at this point, I don't know, man. Like, you have not gained stats as fast as I thought you would have. But why don't, why don't you take a lemon? Why don't you take a lemon? I don't know. Um, and we missed you. <laughs> this time we, we should have... Well, no, we can still give it to the ant. But we were basically... We were more replacing a honey than simply buying a lemon. Nice try, you, you joker. I think that... The reason I like this is because I, I, I don't think we're building something that, like, specifically is going to... Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. They, they have a level 2 hardmark? I don't think specifically we, we expect our fly to pop. But I think we expect it to compare favorably when we're talking about enemy teams that are going to have, like, a lot of... Um, like melon armor, or they'll be summoning like their own, you know, like a chicken, for example. I think it just it helps up our matchups, quite honestly. Now the fly being killed is like less good, but also clearly not that bad. As long as we don't go up against Ardvarks, I'm not saying we're gonna win every round. That's not against Ardvarks, but the the Ardvark wins the matchup, no doubt. So, like, uh, I feel like if we could not have aardvarks at least we have a chance okay now this is this is much better for our distributed buffs and the sauropod is mighty interesting but i think we're stuck with what we got so now it's going to be two two to every unit which is very nice and and i would buy a little ice cream for everybody just in celebration of that milestone i think this one is not going to get to 10 if i had to guess uh, but to be honest, if we keep going up against teams like this, we might have a shot. I'm not trying to throw shade. I'm not trying to say th this team is like the God of War Ragnarok of <laughs> Super Auto Vets. <laughs> there's room for all these games to exist, is what I'm trying to say. There's, there's room for God of War to exist, you can tell, because everybody's playing it. But like, there's also room for God of War haters, such as myself. Now, I, unfortunately, I can't level you because it'll screw up the Dragonfly for life. So I, I'm sorry about that, but it's the truth. Sure, I mean, I could take you to level two, I suppose. That would actually make our ant more likely to get the buff. I wasn't paying attention to that. Yeah, yeah, I need you, I need you to make sure you, I need you to make sure you buff the ant because the ant's got a lemon on it, you see? Anyway, it's all it's all good. No matter what you're into, it's all it's all good. Hey, Blowfish kind of compares uh, unfavorably for our team as well, but the rest of our squad looks fantastic. Look at this. Very nice. Nine wins. I can't believe it. Take a lemon. Take a level. Take a level. No level. Roll me. A melon. I guess I would rather have a melon on our dragonfly next round. The only thing that really scares me is that, like, we, we seem to go up against a lot of teams that have one big unit. It's starting, like, right now. And this, like, basically could not have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> wait for it wait, wait no 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 we still got a chance though they only had their two scalers left like there's a shot we still got a more than a few chances holy cow um but it would be nice yes thank you it would be nice to have something like um like a skunk i know it doesn't exist in in this weekly but it would be nice to have a skunk to like um minimize the effect of like one big enemy unit because right now, obviously, like it's uh, it's kind of 
just kind of doing gangbusters on me. I'm starting to uh, reg regret the fly a little bit. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I thought it would be exclusively like uh, aardvarks that would blow us out. It turns out it's every, every unit in the game uh, blows us out. I'm also starting to feel like we're a little under powered um in a scaling context like we didn't get enough the, the level two dragonfly by itself doesn't do quite enough but we can always get a, a nice matchup two scorpions at the back what the heck i think there might be a shot there's the oh my god we got to 10 okay i'll take it listen i'll take that and I, I got one more in me. It's kind of an awkward time. 20 minutes, 30, 40 seconds now. I'll run it back. I can't end on that God of War note. And you know what? What if we just made one big duck? And then we ran Otter in front for anti-moth tech and then keep pumping you? Yeah, sure. Um, let me be um, a delicious poser. Mm, I'm eating your insecurity. Mm, you know you don't belong in this in-group. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Everybody knows that just because like, when the scene stuff started popping off, you know, like, uh, sure, this is fine. Like, I, I graduated from high school in 2006, which was very modern at the time. It's hard to believe that was the present when it happened, but it was, I promise you. Um, we were not like, whoa, 2006, we were so old. We were like, holy cow, our lives are still ahead of us. Who knows what could happen? Um, scene culture had just started to rise in rural Ontario. It might have hit the rest of the world a little sooner. Um, a lot of kids with the bangs swept across their eyes, cutting the holes out of their sleeves so that they can put their thumb into them and stuff like that. I just knew, listen, some of my friends were into it. I just never had the hairline to pull it off. They would have known I was a poser. So, so don't be insulted by my bit about the delicious posers, okay? Because I, I would have been one. If I, if I had just had a stronger hairline in high school, I would have been right there with you. I'm not saying everybody that was in, his, that was in the scene scene is a poser, by the way. It would, it would never. Absolutely not. All I'm saying is... I'm just trying to construct the, the metaphor, I suppose. Um... Now, I don't know what we're doing with the hedgehogs, but I will say that I did get destroyed by a hedgehog blowfish team, like maybe two videos ago. So I think that there's a, a chance that there's something here. Obviously, we need, um, well, we need a lot, quite frankly. There's no real reason to keep you around. Thought we could have bought some broccoli as well. Like, there's no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna buy any of these units just to have them. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. This doesn't really make any sense. I'm gonna be one squatted, <laughs> and it's not that good of a one to be squatted. But here's the thing: is gonna mess with you. I'm gonna win. Okay. We take those. Um, blowfish would still be very relevant. I'll take a duck. None of these are relevant, unfortunately. I'll take a duck. And would you believe it? I should have bought some pineapples, man. Would you believe it? We're running one squatted again. And I, I don't really... I don't know what's ha Maybe we, we're playing... And, and this is a big maybe, because I, I genuinely don't know what I'm doing. Um, we are going to draw this one. What if we just held steady? I'm okay with this. What if we just held steady with our um, with our hedgehogs? I guess it doesn't really matter how we set this one up. And then when we got scalers, you know what? You might as well go and you take garlic. This is an absurd team. Um, then when we got scalers, just slotted the scalers in, guilt-free, and sent our duck to the moon. Like, is that is that too unreasonable? Because we, we almost made it work right there. Like, we're, we're keeping a lid on the pressure cooker. We're not losing rounds. We're not really building towards anything, but we're not losing rounds. This is a 1-1 scale per turn. 
What what about a what about a freaking worm, man? You might be able to be a part of this too, honestly. A freaking worm. Could the worm can it eat fast enough? I haven't lost to many worms this week, but this is uh this is not your typical team. Again. Not again. Okay, we'll draw. <laughs> this seems this is the the calm before the storm. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this penguin. I don't know. I don't really. I don't. Eh, don't fully. I, you know what? Here's what I'll say. I would say this is a do as I say, not as I do type of game right now. Um, I don't see how this team is really gonna um, favorably compare with like the 50-50s that usually end up beating us later. So I, I would say. Um, I'm, I, we're just gonna see how this one does, okay? Anything above what we got right now is is a, is a blessing. Hello, level three, for no real reason. What if, what if I combined you and then added you? Does it make any sense? <laughs> I don't know. I do like this, though. Oh, what? Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that, but I also feel like I can't not do something. So what, what the heck's going to happen here? You spawn a ladybug behind you. You're going to then get killed, and we're going to win. Okay. Um, am I crazy to think you sell the... Sell the worm... <laughs> Level two monkey. <laughs> um, it's so team is so jank, dude. And then you're gonna pivot off of this hedgehog nightmare. Like we could put saber tooth up in the front. I don't know really what we would be hoping to accomplish by doing that, but I guess a lemon on our saber tooth would have made some sense too. Okay, well, okay, we finally got beaten. It's hard to believe that this incredible team you see before you could actually lose, and yet here we are. Okay, um, you need this. It really, like, almost doesn't make any sense. Am I really gonna... Am I really just gonna go for one big hedgehog? It doesn't seem very sensible. Here I go doing it, though. Maybe, maybe you could get killed and then also help the hedgehog do its damage two times? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing is what I'm trying to say. Um, this team has fallen apart. It's no longer even cool. It's just weird. And the bright side, we got an extra 8-8 eight, eight pig helping us out. We're dead, aren't we? This is the end? Or we, do we have a little more in the tank? We got a little more in the tank. So, you know, I think that some ice cream could really tie this together. No doubt about that. And you know what? Maybe uh, maybe a chili pepper instead of a pineapple because you're mostly we're just turning you into a big unit now. Am I crazy to think that, that we may be getting one more win out of this? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. We got one more win out of it. And then, I don't know, take some more HP. Take a... I don't really know who needs a melon, honestly. This is a... I'm out of my depth, okay? Like, I'm just... The, the fact that we got five is miraculous in and of itself. Six would be the kind of thing that would be hard to believe in. And does not appear that it is going to happen. On the bright side, 8-8 eight, eight mouse. Holy cow, that's, oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Could have been better. Couldn't have been worse, but that in and of itself is fun. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button if you did, and I'll see you next time. See ya.